Hey folks, Darren from DN Auto Sales. I want to do a quick video on the next unit we have for sale. And it's a cool one. So here it is. 1989 Ford Econoline E250, four wheel drive. Super rare. Uh, now most people know on these, on uh, Ford Chevy Dodge, they never made a four wheel drive van from the, from the factory. Uh, conversion companies did. And uh, this is, is a Quigley. Now what's cool about this one, Quigley did the four wheel drive conversion, but they also did the whole coach conversion. I actually didn't know they made these until I got this one in and realized what it was. Super rare. Um, always stored inside and it's in great shape. So we'll go uh, do a quick lap around it, show off some of the features. Um, so 351 Windsor, automatic, again, four wheel drive, Dana 60 front axle, eight lug wheels, uh, brand new wheels and tires. The paint is gorgeous, it's in beautiful shape. And look at those colors, is that 80s colors or what? So it's more of a weekender. Um, it is a, a, a camper van, obviously. It uh, doesn't have all the amenities of a full camper van, but has enough for boondocking. We'll sneak, sneak a quick, quick peek in the back here a second. So much. So there's a table that pops out, cutting board, refrigerator, sink, jackknife couch. That's where the toilet is. So there's a quick look inside. Now what's cool about this too is, is uh, a lot of these conversion vans, they have um, fender flares. They put fender flares on them, both of them on fiberglass, and then the running boards as well. Like for instance, this green one over here. Let's look at this. Like this. So this is added to the vehicle. It's bolted on. What Quigley did is they took those and they molded them into the fender. So it's a one piece fender all the way back. So you still have the factory looking radius fender, but it just comes out in another inch and a half or two inches. Great job. I love the look of that. Uh, covers up the tires. So front and back, it's all molded in one piece. Yeah, you know, I geek out on that kind of stuff. Take a look inside here real quick. So 89, 127 on the miles. Old school Alpine deck, same one I had in my 67 Mustang back in the 80s. High quality old stuff. So we, we kept it as uh, original as possible. It was in such nice shape that we, um, we didn't do a lot to it as far as upgrades and changing the interior. We left the factory carpet, the factory seats. Uh, it does have air conditioner up top. Uh, a, a vent and it does have 600 watts of solar so no generator on this but there is uh, 600 watts of solar two panels and then a, a two auxiliary batteries one AGM as well so. so this was actually an old couple apparently had it a Charlie and Vera look at them look how happy they are I think they're holding hands or holding something so we found lots of uh, stuff from Charlie and Vera and uh, reserved for Charlie and Vera. So they like this thing. They got some use out of it. Um, underneath the couch is pretty wide open, but there's the new AGM battery, jackknife couch again. You can't stand up in here. It's a, not a very high top. Uh, back here, microwave rear heat from the engine not a propane source there's no propane this is no cooktop uh, and then the restroom is a porta potty in there there's the solar setup for it all new LED lights fan so yeah this thing is uh, turned out really cool runs and drives awesome um, we're gonna put this up for sale price is gonna be right about thirty five thousand dollars for this thing uh, watch for the full photo shoot probably by Maybe tomorrow, but possibly um, after the weekend on Tuesday. But I just want to put a quick video up. I uh, hope you guys have an awesome holiday weekend. And, uh, and thanks for watching. See ya.